Hello my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Please, oh, I'm here to give you uh, what happened yesterday at the Supreme Court. Sorry, oh, at the High Court. Um, was beheaded by injustice, Binta Iyako, terrorism trial and charges. Uh, the High Court have ordered Nigerian government and Nam Dekano to explore political solutions in other wars. They have told them to go in wars and do what? And settle the, mass, the, the the case out of court. That is what the court uh, is suggesting. But some bloggers don't carry on now. Say Mazen Nam Dekano and uh, his lawyers don't they seek political solution. Say made them settle, settle out of court. Quoting section 17 of the so-called Zoological Republic of Nigerian Constitution, which is not true. This is exactly the court is the one that directed Nam Dekano and the lawyers and the lawyers of uh, uh, the, the, the so-called zoo that they should go and settle out of court. In other words, it is called political solutions. Because them themselves never have already known. The only thing that is holding them now is because of greed. I mean, not greed. Because of uh, e ego. How can they succumb and, uh, and they just go to court and discharge him? Because the international community is watching. That is why you see all these shenanigans. Anyway, my people, if you get this message, please help me like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. Some people have been asking me what is the judgment of Injustice Binta Iyako, uh, the court that happened yesterday, 19th day of June, in the, in the month of 2024. So let us read in between the lines. And uh, as that one they happen, oh, make on see the reason why we are here this morning. Presidency don't condemns Aisha Yusufu over claims of Tunumbu being disgraced in South Africa. Of course, the video is flying around left, right, and center. And uh, if uh, this, if I'm permitted, I will upload the video here where our so-called president <laughs> he been ignored even nobody even know him if you see where this man is smiling so that uh, my force are we going to witness him for you to know that these people have been sidelined even in the african soil nigerians and their president are worth nothing to them because of their injustice because of their corruption and because of their 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 their, their what they call uh, no respect for human rights and their so-called laws who do you want to respect you? And uh, it, I'm very sure that I said maybe Tunumbu are not even invited on that very occasion. And he left here, go to Charter Private Church, just to go to South Africa there and disgrace their, their selves. Anyway, my people, now this message you, we carry come this morning. While the last, grab your popcorn while the news is unfolding. The Abuja Federal High Court on Wednesday directed that the General of the Federation, Latif, Fabwemi, and Nam De Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, to explore political solution and reconciliation in the ongoing terrorism trial uh, against the IPOB leader. Injustice Binta Iyako gave the order while invoking the court's power under Section 17 of the Fulani High Court Act. Section 17 of the Fulani High Court Act provides that uh, in any proceedings in the court, the court may promote reconciliation among the parties there to and encourage and facilitate the amicable settlement thereof. Responding, the prosecutor Ademo Ade, Ademo Yega Awomolo S A N told the court that he has no objection to political settlement of the case. Awomolo said the court should direct Kano's lawyers to discuss directly with the attorney general of the uh, Fulani <laughs> Federation. Kano Salid Council, a lawyer Jimako, did not express objection to political settlement of the case. Thereafter, Justice Iyako adjoined the case till September 24 for further hearing. Kano had been locked up since June uh, of 2021. This is approximately, uh, approximately uh, three good years, if I'm not mistaken, when he was uh, kidnapped in Kenya and repatriated to Nigeria under for under falsifications. Several bodies, including the Hanes and the Beribe, has urged Bola May Tunumbu to consider a political solution to Kano's continued detention. Presidency don't come out to conde attack Aisha Yusufu after he come out to conde laugh to the so called presidency over the dis disgrace that uh, their president suffered in South Africa when the, the newly elected president Ramaphosa is greeting dignitaries. He didn't recognize our president, you, the president of the Nigerian government. <laughs> I this one, I've been an APC president. 
Hey, this is social media spot involving activists Aisha Yusuf and the Bola Me Tunumbu's ex has escalated following Yusuf, uh, Yusuf's uh, criticism of Tunumbu at a recent international event. The controversy began when Yusuf alleged that, uh, alleged via Twitter that Bola Me Tunumbu was not by South African President Cyril Ramaphosa during an inauguration event following his re-election as the President of South Africa. Hey. In her tweet, Yusuf claimed that President Tunumbu has been disgraced and shunned, sparking a, fur a flurry of social media reactions. The presidency quickly issued a response through presidential spokesperson Bayo Nonoga, who described Yusuf and her followers as an uncount and hoarder of pes pessimists, further accusing them of bitterness, seeming from their candidates' third place finish in the 2023 general election. Is this why? Is this the reason? Can't you explain to us why Tunubu are being snubbed? That is the reason. We have a lot of internet, internet D, let me not complete the words, from this so-called administration, who can never answer or uh, give a clear uh, understanding, a clear case of what really happened in South Africa. Rather, you come out now to call somebody who has not even mentioned anything in this matter. Now he's going to call Peter Obi, that Peter Obi sent Aisha. To mock the president, Onanoga criticized Yusuf for her hasty judgment and consistently negative attitude towards Bola Me Tunumbu, contrasting, con okay, contrasting this with the behavior of supporters of the second place candidate in the elections. The senior special assistant on new media to President Tunumbu, Otega Ogra, also joined the rebuttal, accused Yusuf to crass, uh, to crass, okay, Yusuf of crass ignorance and actions and aimed more at gaining social media traction than engaging constructively. Agra took pains to refute specific allegations made by Yusuf regarding the incident at the inauguration event, pointing out factual in inaccuracies in her statements. We saw the video. What are you going to tell us about that? Onanoga stated, Aisha and her unclad horror of pessimists are always quick to rush to judgment with any wave of what appears to them to be negative to the leader of Africa's biggest democracy, who, Mao, more than a year after the 2023 election, in which their candidates came third, they remain incredibly bitter and toxic, more than the supporters of the man who came second. Similarly, Ogra said, I shall have the, have the constitutional uh, guaranteed right to express uh, uh, yourself, but your consistent displays of crass ignorance and shameful behavior seemingly aimed at gearing likes and retweets in the name of your disdain and hatred, which you profess at any given opportunity. For Nigeria is shameful to say the least. For the record, one, that first row at uh, today's inauguration was reserved for South African kings and royal. Two, the South African president wasn't expected to start greeting dignitaries at the time of the video you shared, and he was respectively recalled to the podium by the inauguration com compare. See video below. Number three. Immediately after President Ramaphosa finished the anthem, he went ahead to greet the visiting presidents who were all seated in the second row, similar to the way visiting presidents were seated in the third row during Nigeria's own inauguration on May 29, 2023. According to all the, 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 the presidential uh, DOGS, uh, uh, <laughs> all these are presidential online DOGS. Let me not complete it. That they, this is their work, and that is what they keep doing each time this matter that come out. Just come out and clarify. Must you call the name of somebody who has not even have anything to say about this matter? Who is even relaxing in his bedroom? But here, you people are arguing over him or her. <laughs> anyway, while I never finish, my people, now here we go take back break on the camera voice again when I go live because we are going to expand on this matter anytime soon. But have like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Ben. I'm on the other side of the live from the platform of Quitted Daily Talk. In case of my fans asking me the outcome of the court of yesterday, the injustice being that Yako have directed uh, a lawyer, Jimako, and the so called Attorney General of the Federation, um, Fabwemi Latifu, say, better go seek political solution. They have to go and settle out of court.
concerning this matter of Mazi Namdekano. So you like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos.